Hello students, welcome again to our module. We will discuss about the manufacturing industry. So first, we will discuss about your expectation in this module. So after going through this module, you are expected to first define manufacturing business. Second one, understand the importance of manufacturing industry on the economy. And then the last one, apply business principles tools and techniques in the manufacturing industry so before we will proceed to our uh, formal lesson we will have a pretest first first question it is the definition of a manufacturing business a the manufacturing business is any business that uses components parts or raw materials to make a finished good B. Manufacturing business is the business which transforms inputs into outputs through the use of tools, human labor, machinery, and chemical processing. C. Manufacturing business includes the process of returning raw materials into finished goods. Or letter D. All of the above. So the answer is letter d all of the above next question below are the examples of a manufacturing business except a machinery and equipment b rubber and plastic products c wearing apparel or d medical clinic so the answer is letter D. Medical clinic. Next question, number three. It refers to the cost advantage experienced by a firm when it increases its level of output. A. Cost efficiencies. B. Economies of scale. C. Budget constraints. Or D. Production costs. The right answer is letter b economies of scale fourth question these are the effects of economies of scales on the production cost except a it reduces the per unit fixed cost b it reduces the per unit variable cost c as a result of increased production the fixed cost gets spread over more output than before or letter D, none of the above. The correct answer is letter D, none of the above. Last question. According to PSA, the economy dropped by 16.5% in the second quarter of 2020. What was the performance of the manufacturing industry? A, decreased by 21.3%. B. Decreased by 33.5%. C. Increased by 1.6%. Or letter D. Increased by 26.5%. The right answer is letter A. Decreased by 21.3%. Congratulations those who got the perfect score for pretest. So now let's proceed to our formal lesson. So first we will discuss about the manufacturing business. So the manufacturing business is any business that uses components, parts, or raw materials to make a finished product. So for example, the finished product is car. So the manufacturing business will gather the components, parts, or raw materials like steering wheel, tire, and parts of the car. And then they will create this product and the finished product is the car. So these finished goods can be sold directly to the consumers or other manufacturing businesses for making a different product. So according to Hill 2020, manufacturing businesses in today's world are normally comprised of machines, robots, computers, 
and humans that all work in a specific manner to create a product. So we, we have its high technology in producing uh, finished products. So large scale manufacturing allows for the mass production of goods using assembly line processes and advanced technologies. Just like this um, picture here, there is an advanced technologies to produce tremendous amount of products. And it also um, efficient manufacturing techniques enable manufacturers to take advantage of the economies of scale producing more units at a lower cost. By using these technologies, the manufacturing industry or businesses can produce uh, lots of money and it uh, affects with the economies of scale. So what is the economies of scale? So it refers to the cost advantage experienced by uh, any firm or any businesses when it increases its level of outputs. Okay, so there is a cost advantage if there is an increases its level of output. So the advantage arises due to the inverse relationship between the per unit fixed cost and the quantity produce so the greater quality or quantity of the output produce the lower the per unit fixed cost so there is an cost advantage so this is called economies of scale so the economies of scale also would result in a fall in the average variable cost which is the average non-fixed cost as output increases so this is brought about by the operational effi um, efficiencies as a result of an increase in the scale of production. Another thing is the economies of scale can be implemented by a firm at any stage of the production process. So in this case, the production refers to the economic concept of manufacture and involves all activities related to commodity thus so business can decide to implement economies of scale in its marketing division by hiring a large number of marketing professionals again the business can decide to implement economies of scale in its marketing division by what by hiring a large number of marketing professionals so business can also adapt the same in its input sourcing division by moving from human labor they produce the products by only human labor and then they will shift to a machine labor if we will just use the human labor there have a limited amount of outputs but if we will use machinery or any high technology machines to produce um, products there will be a uh, economies of scale so there are the effects of economies of scale on a production cost number one it reduce the per unit fixed cost it reduce okay as a result of the increase production so if there's an increase production there is a reduction of per unit fixed cost and the fixed cost gets spread over more output than before so there is an increasing amount of production number two it reduces per unit variable costs. This occurs as the expanded scale of production increases the efficiencies of the production process. Okay, same with the first statement. Now, the manufacturing industry in the Philippines. So, according to the Board of Investments, 
the Philippine manufacturing industry remains to be the most important sector for long-term productive employment, value-added generation, and innovation. So it has the highest multiplier effect on the economy compared to other sectors. So the manufacturing is called the engine of the economy. Again, the manufacturing is called the engine of the economy. So many services exist because of manufacturing. Hence, many service jobs will disappear if manufacturing disappear. So the manufacturing creates more quality and gainful employment. If there is a manufacturing industry, what will happen to the employability of people, uh, especially here in the Philippines? It will be increasing. The more there is a manufacturing businesses or firm, the more they need an, um, people or human resource. So they need a lot of people. They will employ a lot of people. So at it has extensive linkages not only among its subsectors but also with other industry. So not mention that it can further make the services and logistics sector more active. So increasing uh, manufacturing activities also have spillover effects of inducing additional demand from the agriculture and resource-based industries so let's talk about the manufacturing establishments in the philippines in 2016 and 2017 so the latest annual survey of philippine business and industry or it is called aspbi showed a total of 24,200 manufacturing um, establishment in 2017 so this represents a 13.6 percent decreases okay from the 28,003 manufacturing establishments recorded in 2016 so this is the uh, latest annual survey of philippine business and industry so among industry groups the manufacture of other food products other food products accounts for 7880 establishments or 32.6% of the total and also the manufacture of beverage products followed by 2,407 or 9.9% .9 establishment and also printing and services um, activities related to printing rank third with 1,581 uh, 1 establishments um, or 6.5% so the total employment generated by manufacturing establishment reached to 1.3 million in 2017 so the main or what say in the recent data about the philippine economy the gross domestic product or we also said gdp the growth rate dropped by 16.3 five percent in the second quarter of 2020 again in the recent data about the philippine um, economy the gdp or gross domestic product dropped by 16.5 percent in the second quarter of 2020 so this is the latest um, data about the philippine economy 
So the main contributors to the decline were first manufacturing with negative 21.3% in the manufacturing. The second one, the construction with 33.5%. And lastly, the transportation and storage with negative 59.2%. So this is our module for module 5 about the manufacturing industry. And for the valuing, please reflect on these sayings by Warren Buffett. No matter how great the talent or efforts, some things just take time. So you can produce a baby in one month by getting in nine women pregnant. Thank you and don't forget to answer the post test. Thank you.